Hi guys, look what arrived today from JLC PCB. A friendly electrical tape. And a little bit more important, my new PCBs for the sound controller. So let's have a look. Wow, nice. But will they work? In order to find out, I will assemble one together with Junior. It will replace this prototype version. As you can see, it has the same size as the prototype. You can find the component values and names on the schematic. We need resistors, NPN transistors, an N channel MOSFET, a 5 volt voltage regulator, male and female headers, an ESP32 board, a 20k trim pot, a screw terminal for the battery, a PAM8403 amplifier board, a 25 volt 1000 microfarad low ESR electrolytic capacitor and one N5819 Schottky diodes. Now we want to assemble the 10K audio mixing resistors. In order to make soldering easier, you always want to start with the smallest components. Looks good. Now let's cut off the legs. Next step, the 1N5819 diodes. These thick legs require a little bit more heat. Now we want to solder the L7805 voltage regulator. <laughs> After soldering the first leg, make sure it's sitting correctly. Next step, soldering the male headers. I have already cut them to length previously. A piece of female header is used to secure them in place. Nice. 
Here I'm soldering the remaining pins. This is the result. Now let's proceed with the female headers for the ESP32. Next component, the battery screw terminal. These thick legs require a lot of heat. Now it's time for the volume trim potentiometer. Now it's time for the power supply capacitor. And by the way, I'm using lead free solder. In this step I'm soldering all the LED driver transistors. Make sure you don't overheat them. Now it's time for all the vertical resistors. Keep in mind that they have different values. In this step I am soldering the amplifier module. The headers were already soldered to the module previously. After soldering the first joint you want to make sure it's sitting correctly. Now it's time for the shaker motor driver MOSFET. It's important to use a logic level type. That's it, time to test fit the ESP32. Before we power it up, we want to do some basic short circuit and continuity tests. After connecting the battery without the ASP32, we want to test the 5V regulator. As you can see, it's OK.
Now let's plug in the ESP32. Okay, plug in the battery. Will it explode? No. Time to connect the ESC. The ESP32 is supplied by the BEC in the ESC. As you can see, it's now powered up. Everything is now connected. The receiver is connected via UART. You can also connect it via standard servo signals, SBUS or PPM. Time to test the shaker driver. Of course there also were some issues. Because of boot problems I had to move the headlights from D0 to D3. And there was a faulty track in the design. Both issues are solved in the new board version. In the meantime I added the SBUS protocol to the ESP32 sound controller, as well as to the micro RC receiver. You can find them on GitHub. Time to test it with the optimized Detroit Diesel.